Access the Groups menu by clicking on the profile icon in the top right-hand corner and then selecting Admin. Users who do not have admin privileges, such as read-only users, will not see this option. Groups are a great way to divide your fleet if you have different branches or locations throughout your business, or if you have supervisors that should only see their own team when logging into the application. Both vehicles and users can be assigned to groups in order to create a more custom experience based on the needs of your fleet. You will start by pressing the blue New Group button to create a new group. Then you'll give the group a name. I'm gonna call this one Demo. And you'll also select a color. I'm going to choose Orange. This color and name will represent the group across the application. Depending on which view you choose when you're on the map page, you'll see either the dot in this color or the dot with the full name of the group. Since groups can easily be changed, you could use them for different office locations or different projects being worked on or something else entirely. Every fleet is different, so find what works best for you. Now that we've named and color-coded the group, it's time to select which devices belong to it. After clicking Next, you'll be shown a list of the devices on the account, including the driver assigned to it currently. It will also show which, if any, groups it already belongs to. Once you've selected the devices that you would like to add, click Next again to select the users you'd like to see in this particular group. If a user is set at the admin permission level, you will not be able to assign them to a group since they can already see all groups on the account. When you've finished making selections, press Save in the bottom right corner to complete the creation of the group.